Hello and welcome to my kitchen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a cauliflower and potato curry, also known as alu gobi. It's a very popular dish in restaurants, so you may have heard of it, but I'm gonna show you how I make it at home today. So let's get cooking. One head of cauliflower, the florets inside itself are about 800 grams in weight four medium potatoes weighing about 600 grams. You'll also need three uh, small tomatoes chopped up to add to the curry. One tablespoon of ginger, a half a teaspoon of chopped green chilies, a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, a quarter teaspoon of red chili powder, one and a half teaspoons of coriander cumin powder and one and a half teaspoons of salt. For the tempering, you'll need a quarter cup of oil, a half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, and a quarter teaspoon of hing or asafoetida, a half a teaspoon of garam masala for sprinkling at the end, and chopped coriander for garnishing. When you're picking out your cauliflower, make sure that you're looking for a white cauliflower head. If you see that it's yellow or got brown spots, don't get that one because it means it's old and it won't taste good. It might taste a li little bit bitter as well. And uh, cook it very soon after you purchase it because the longer the cauliflower stays in the refrigerator, it will start to get slightly bitter. So always get a fresh white cauliflower. Now these green leaves on the outside, you can uh, make a curry out of them. I've heard some people using it for a curry. I haven't tried it myself. Uh, but I'm sure you can use it in a curry. But today we're just making the cauliflower and potato curry. I'm gonna cut the cauliflower using a paring knife. I'm just gonna cut these leaves off by cutting the base here. Then I'm gonna cut the florets. So they basically come in big florets like this. And then I'll chop these into about one inch pieces. I'll just cut from the bottom up to the florette. So cut the bottom bit here. So you want them about this size so they don't break up into really tiny pieces. I've broken up the uh, cauliflower head into florets and I'm going to throw it in the colander and give it a quick rinse. Once it's rinsed, go ahead and let it sit in the bowl and drain out thoroughly. Here I have 600 grams of potatoes. I'm going to peel these and cut these up. I'm looking at the size of the cauliflower and I want to make sure that my potatoes are cut slightly smaller than the cauliflower because the potato is gonna take longer to cook than the cauliflower. So I'm gonna cut it in half. I cut into three, because it looks slightly bigger, and make squares that are about two centimeters by two centimeters approximately. When you're making cauliflower potato curry, make sure you choose a shallow pan so that you can make sure that the cauliflower and the potatoes are not sitting all on top of each other. It kind of needs to be spread out, otherwise the cauliflower will break. So I'm heating up my pan here to get ready for the tempering. Once the pan's heated up for about a minute, I'm gonna add the oil. Then add the cumin seeds and let them sizzle a bit. Then go ahead and add the hing or asafoetida. Then immediately you're gonna add all the spices, the ginger, chilies, and all the dry spices and stir that in real quick. Then add the potato. And mix them in. And we're going to add the cauliflower. I'm 
going to add a quarter cup of water and then I'm going to cover it with a lid and let this cook. So it's been about five minutes and I'm going to give it a stir. While the curry is cooking, chop the tomatoes. As the curry cooks, you'll notice that the water gets uh, consumed by the uh, cauliflower and the potatoes, so you don't have to worry about it becoming saucy. I'm just gonna check if the potatoes are almost there. Okay, the potatoes are almost there. I'm going to give it another few minutes and then I'll add some tomatoes. Alright, I'm going to add the chopped tomatoes and give that a mix. Now you can add peas in here also. If you like peas, you can add peas in the curry too. So this has been cooking for a total of about 20 minutes and it looks like it's cooked. Stir gently so that the cauliflower florets don't completely break up. All right, so now I'm just gonna sprinkle this with, I'm gonna turn the heat off and sprinkle garam masala on top. And some fresh chopped coriander. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video and I hope to see you soon for some more cooking inspiration. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.